Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another horror game. I got my Hollow Knight horror game buddy here, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at a horror game called Cryptic Case. I don't know exactly uh, what this game is about, but we're going to have a look and we're going to play around. Uh, controls are WASD, shift for sprint, left click interact, right click flashlight, and P for menu. P for menu, I definitely would not have thought of that one. So let's dive right in. <laughs> Working overtime again. That's I right. I swear I'm the only one who does anything around here. Still, I suppose a little extra labor won't kill me. Uh, hello? Who is this? You don't know me, Emmett. But I know you. 8, 11, 94. Do you remember? Hey, did, did you? Did you just... You cut off my dang lights, a little punk. Can I get up from here? Oh, I got a flashlight. That's good. Can I pee? Uh, no, that's just settings. Uh, oh, there we go. I'm not stuck. I'm just kind of stuck. I can look at objects. Look at that. There's my coffee cup. Pretty coffee cup. Oh, I can turn my light on and off. Look at me. I got some detective janks. Law and Order Justice Police Department. I got the red string going on. Detective proof crime theft murder search searching. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting uh, uh, graphical setup here. Probably gonna get jump scared out the wing wing. I guess I'm in a police station. Why am I alone at the police station, though? Shouldn't there always be, like, a couple cops at the police station? Not just, like, one cop just hanging around doing his copliness. Uh, looks like the panel is completely busted. Uh, I'm not getting this thing on anytime soon. Oh, damn it. Always looking in the wrong places. Stop wasting your time doing chores. And put those detective skills to work. Remember, 8, 11, 94. Those numbers, what do they mean? 8, 11, 94. I gotta write those down. Hold on, let me let me uh, let me write this down on my uh, my keypad here. Eight eleven ninety four. Eight eleven. Oh, I forget. Eight eleven ninety four. Watch me. I've, I've completely just like misremembered those. Connor to Joey. Joey. I'm currently unable to get into my office. I left behind my key card in this building last night and it's no longer where I placed it. I'm unsure as to where it went and who to or to touched it. I had to rely on Kenny to unlock my office for me. Maybe we can get something sorted out real soon. Thanks, Connor. Can't open any of the lockers. Timothy to Carla. Have you checked the security systems lately? I saw that someone had tried accessing the cameras last night, and I wanted to make sure it was you. Don't hesitate to ask me if you need anything. And sincerely, Timothy. I forgot it was click, not E. I'm so used to E being the, uh, the button to uh, click on things. I don't even think... That it might not be E. 
just like spam E. Here's the key to the meeting room. Joey to Kim. It has come to my attention that there have been multiple reports of property tampering within the last week alone. With you often staying after hours for janitorial work, I wanted to first come to ask about the situation. Please do not hesitate to notify me about any suspicious activity you find during your shift. So basically someone's... Stall is the same numbers that the man was repeating earlier in a date format. There's a key attached to it. Uh, that man wants me to remember some specific date or some specific time. What I'm looking for. I might be able to find something on it in the records room. Hmm. The records room. key. Records room key. August 11th, 1994. Is that right? That uh, that sounds right. 8 would be August, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8. Look! 11. It was an accident, okay? I see right through your little lies, Emmett. That man was like a brother to me. And you killed him, just for talking back to you. You're a mess, Emmett. One that went unpunished for a long time. But now, that's gonna change. What? What is this? I knew it would turn out this way, Emmett. Maybe things would have been different if you could just... Own up to your mistakes. Goodbye, Emmett. I wish things could have been better. What? What? Wow. <laughs> what? Um, what? So I didn't get a chance to read the, um, what was written because I was obviously trying to figure out whether the date was the same and it was the same. Um, and it says officer Emmett Thompson details neighbors complain of excess noise coming from their next door apartment, home of David Birch and temporarily, temporarily his friend, Thomas Andrews. Both inhabitants were stubborn to cooperate. Action. Both of the men were warned to stop their behavior and encouraged to listen to directions by Thompson. Thompson then describes Birch making violent advancements towards him, forcing him to open fire. So basically, this guy uh, planned a way to kill the officer who killed his friend or his brother or something. And, um, yeah, that's pretty terrible. Uh, I thought it was going to be something a little bit different than that, but, uh, but, man, that turned out really interesting, didn't it? Just just simply um, a case of of revenge. A revenge killing. Isn't that right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hollow Knight? A revenge killing. Mr. Hollow Knight said he doesn't care. Uh, he doesn't have revenge in his heart. He is a he is a hollow knight. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my horror games. Uh, this was a relatively short one, but uh, but a nice one nonetheless. And as always, keep watching.